All right, welcome everybody. In this video, I want to pick up with where we left off, which is we had just installed R in R Studio and opened it up on uh, your computer to make sure everything installed correctly. Uh, and so um, the link to this HTML document that I'm looking at right now that you are looking at, um, this is found in the description of this video. Um, and so I'm assuming that you have gone through the previous video and an already installed R in R Studio and check to make sure that that was able to open up on your computer. And if you had any trouble with that installation process, please shoot me an email, ask me for help before our first day of class. Um, it would be great to have all of this working for you smoothly um, before we start class um, next week. Um, okay, so now let's continue um, with opening up a file in our studio. And so this uh, HTML document that we are looking at right now, it's static. I can't edit this document at all. But this HTML document was created from what is called an R Markdown file that I created in R Studio. So R Markdown is a type of file that contains some formatted text and some cells of code, in this case, R code. Um, so what I want to do is open up the file that was used to create these instructions um, and just show you how to install a couple of packages. Um, but the goal of this is not to get you introduced into all of the various ways that you can edit our markdown files that will be a subsequent video. But I want to just make sure that you're able to open up a file in our studio. In this case, that file is going to be the R markdown file that was used to create these instructions. Okay, so in order to download the R markdown file um, that was creating these instructions, you can click on this link in this HTML file. I will also put the link, the download link in the description of this video. Um, but if you click on this link or the link in the video, it's going to open up a download um, window like you can see here. And it's, the file is called installing R in R Studio. And the file extension here is being hidden, but the file extension that you'll see, it's going to be a .rmd file. So just make a note of where you are saving this file. I'm going to save this file into um, onto my desktop. So I click Save. There we go. OK, so let's go ahead and open up our studio if you haven't opened it already. Um, my R Studio is in my applications directory. Um, and just be sure that here is the logo for R, and here is the icon for R Studio. We want to open up R Studio. Okay, so do not click on R. Click on R Studio, and we're going to open up R Studio. Um, I've got it pinned in my dock down here as well. Okay, so what has just opened is a totally blank R Studio session. And now what I want to do is open up this file that I just saved into my desktop. So in order to open up that file, I'm going to go to File, Open File, and then I choose the lo file location, the directory where I just saved that file. So in this case, it's on my desktop. I can see it's this file over here and it has this extension .rmd. And now this has opened up the file. And um, that file may be by default being showed in what's called the source mode, or you might be seeing it in visual mode. So I will unpack our studio and our markdown in another video. Um, just keep in mind, I. I'm aware there's like a lot going on in this window. So there's stuff going on over here. Um, there's stuff in the console down here. There's files or plots or packages um, over here in the lower right. And there's another environment pane over here. Um, all that we need to focus on is what's going on in the pane, the main pane over here. And um, this is the R markdown file that we just saved and opened. And right now I'm looking at it in source mode so I can see kind of all of the, the, the formatting tags um, that are being used when the document is rendered into a nice formatted form, like in the HTML document. 
Um, if you want to see a more readable version of this file, you can click between the source mode, which is what we're on right now, or the visual mode, clicking on these two buttons over here. They go between the source and the visual mode. And based on the headers that I have in this document, you can also scroll through this document using the outline. So your outline might not be displayed. If you want to see an outline, you can click on the outline button over here. But what you're looking at now are these exact same instructions that were in the HTML document. Um, that HTML document, that was static, whereas this I can interact with. So over here, I can type some text um, and I can delete text or, and I can change formatting. I can make things bold. I can change the color, all sorts of things. Again, um, how we can do all of those formatting, um, we'll talk about that in some uh, videos down the line. Um, but these markdown documents contain like we're a bunch of formatted text over here. So we've got bullets and such. And it also contains cells of code, in this case of R code. And these I can see um, as these little grayed out boxes over here. And so R is super useful because lots of people have been creating really nice scripts to do really um, nice analysis, statistical analysis in R. And we're gonna use some of those scripts from time to time and we'll write our own at, at other times. Um, and so a collection of nice scripts and data sets, they are stored in what's called a package in R. And so with packages, um, we need to install those packages on our computer first before we're able to use them. And so anytime you want to install a package, the command is gonna be install dot package. And then in parentheses, we indicate the name of the package that we want to install. And then we run that line of code. And so the way that you can run this install um, command is by hitting the play button over here. I'm not gonna hit this play button, uh, well, I'll hit it. I've already installed this package, but I'll, I'll install it again. Um, and you can see that um, stuff is running and this tells me that it just downloaded some of these scripts and it's not that important to know where, but here it tells you exactly where those files have been downloaded. So you only need to do this install step one time. Now you've downloaded those packages onto your computer. You don't need to do that ever again. Sometimes you might want to install a couple of multiple packages at the same time. <clears throat> Excuse me, ggplot2, this is a common uh, visualization package. Data Explorer has some other scripts that we'll use. <clears throat> so if you want to install both of these packages at the same time, notice there's just a slight change in the syntax in that I put a C before the parentheses um, indicating both of the package names here. And you can run this by hitting the play button again, and that's gonna download a bunch of files onto your computer. And so you only need to install a package once. Once you've installed it, you do not need to install it ever again. However, if you want to use this scripts in those packages, then you do need to load that library into your R session. And so loading those libraries, um, we do using what's called the library command. So this document has been set up for now that you shouldn't have to edit any lines of code. Um, all you need to do is hit the play button to run these lines of code. Um, but this was a two-step process. The first step was to download the files onto your computer. And now each time I open a new R session, if I want to get access to the files in that package, I need to check them out using this library command. So here I'll run the command. Um, you can see down below in the console that this command was just run. You, you don't see any output here because the only thing it did was load up a bunch of the scripts that are in that package. And when we load packages with this library command, one difference from the install step was we didn't need to put the double quotes around the name of the package. So here I can um, load up the ggplot2 package.
So if all of this is a little bit abstract and complicated, what in the world do you need to use these libraries for? I understand that, um, and that's not the point of this lecture. So I just want to, or this video, I just want to make sure that you're able to open up uh, our markdown file in our studio. And we will get into the details of what packages are and when we might need to use some packages versus others together in class. Okay, and so um, the very last thing I wanna mention is that this file that we're working with in R Studio, this is an R Markdown file, which is again, is interactive. So I can enter text down here. Um, I can also include new um, code cells by, for example, inserting an R code chunk. And here I can interact with the code, I can enter commands like, hey, what is three plus four and run it and see the output all in the same document. Um, so this is why our markdown is going to be nice. We'll have a way that we can type up nice formatted text to explain what code is doing. And then we can run and edit and play around with code in these code cells below. Um, but if you've got this file opened up, that was the main goal here. We'll get into the nuts and bolts of how we can interact and edit and um, code in uh, throughout this semester. Okay, thanks.